Right, so today's video is going to be nice and short, nice and simple. I'm going to be explaining how to shoot some 3D phone manipulation shots. So 3D photo manipulation is where you Photoshop two images together and you can get this really cool effect of uh, like a building coming out of a phone or something like that. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, we're already at the spot actually. We are at St. Paul's Cathedral. We are on the rooftop bar. Let's quickly bang out these shots before the sunset goes down. When you're shooting your first shot, you, you're going to want just the building in it, okay? So you're going to want to look out for a nice tall building, one that stands out from the sky, one that stands out from everything else, and basically just shoot the shot that you want. That's going to be your background layer for the whole shot, okay? We chose St. Paul's because, obviously, you know, it stands out. <laughs> and it's really beautiful building as well. It is, it's a really nice building. When it comes to your second shot, I know there's a couple of methods of doing this, but the way that I do it is just take a second shot, similar sort of frame into what you had, and literally just hold your phone up or hold a camera lens, you could hold an ND filter, anything like that. Just hold something up, similar sort of frame into what you got, because what you're going to be doing is just editing your hand out, editing whatever's in your hand and just placing it on top of the background layer. The reason I say have a similar sort of framing is so that you can get the, the lighting right on your hand. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna go and take a separate shot somewhere else, the lighting's just not gonna be the same and the whole shot's just gonna, you know, the contrast between your hand and the background layer is gonna look so weird. When you're taking the shot with your phone, obviously you're gonna want to focus on your phone, okay? Best way, when you edit your hand out or edit the phone out, you're gonna get a much cleaner cut rather than if you've got the background in focus and your hand out of focus. So that's just that's just one thing to keep note of. Right, so now that I've got the shots that I want, let's just head straight to the computer and I'll show you how to edit them together. Okay, so you're back, you've got the photos that you want and now you're ready to edit. Right, I'm gonna show you how easily this can be done. I can guarantee you'll take about 10, 15 minutes max on this, all right? It's, it's really not hard at all. So let's just jump straight to the computer and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting off here in Lightroom. Uh, these camera photos were shot in RAW, so it's gonna be a bit easier to edit while they're still in the RAW format. So yeah, we're in Lightroom, we're gonna be doing a basic edit on these photos before we import them into Photoshop. Obviously, when you're editing your photos, you've got your own style, you've got, the, you've got your own way that you edit the photos. So yeah, we're just gonna skip through this and I'll catch up with you once this is done. Okay, so once you've edited your two photos, you're basically halfway through, okay? This is where the fun bit comes in. So you're going to be exporting these photos from Lightroom into Photoshop and I'll show you how to stitch them together, okay? All right, so you've imported your photos into Photoshop. This is where the fun happens. So I've got the I've got the photo with my phone held in my hand, and I've also got the photo of the background layer. Okay, this is going to be your base layer, and what you're going to be doing is cutting out your hand and the phone basically, and copying and pasting it onto the photo of the background layer. All right. So to do this, you're going to want to select the pen tool at the left there, uh, zoom in slightly just so you can get a bit of a better view, and basically just outline your hand and the phone, all right? The more accurate you do this, the better the results are gonna be. So definitely take your time with this. It's not something you want to rush. Uh, if you want to make a curve, sort of around a curve section of your hand, that you just click and hold and you'll be able to drag drag the curve into place. What will happen is you'll be left with like a little, a little square, little box type thing. If you just press option and click that box, then that'll make your selection, okay? And then you can move on to the next point. Okay, so you finish with a pen tool. You're gonna to want to make your selection, basically. So you can feel free to zoom back out. You're gonna to want to right click and make selection, okay? In feather radius, make sure you hit one pixel, just so it, you know, it makes it a little bit softer on the edges. It's not gonna be as much of a, of a hard cut, basically. Uh, you'll see this little zebra pattern come up around the outline. So literally all you're gonna to want to do is copy that and paste it onto your background layer. So I use Mac, so it's gonna be Command C over to the background layer, hit Command V, all right? 
There we go, that's added in now. So now feel free to drag this down, move it around into place, sort of how exactly you want it. I decided to make it a little bit smaller just so it doesn't take it up as much of the frame. Okay, so now that I've got my hand on my phone exactly where I want it, uh, as you can see, the foam does cover the edges of the buildings. So this is, this is the sort of position that you're gonna want it in. You're gonna want your phone poking out of the edges of the sides of the buildings, basically. Once again, we're gonna be using the pen tool. So make sure this layer that you've just pasted in is selected down at the bottom right. Feel free to zoom in, make it a little bit easier for yourself. And what you're gonna be doing is selecting the pen tool. And basically here, you're gonna be removing the entirety of the screen plus the top of the phone that you're gonna be cutting out, okay? So like I said, make sure the layer is selected down at the bottom right. Now the way that I do this, I like to make my first point where I want the foam to, to be cut out basically. So this is, where, this is where the building and the phone meets. And then what you're gonna wanna do is literally just remove the screen, okay? So make your selection around the screen. I'm gonna fast forward this piece again. Okay, so there's the selection that I want. As you can see, where the phone meets the two sides of the building, that's where I'm gonna be cutting out, all right? Okay, so it's very simple now. Literally just right click, hit make selection. This should be on one pixel as it was before and just hit okay. All right, and once you've made the selection, just hit backspace and there you go, there's your final product. All right, so there we have it. That is a really simple Photoshop edit that you can do and it just really makes your photos stand out, okay? So if you're trying to up your Instagram game or you're just trying to just trying to show off maybe, then, you know, that is a, that's a really simple, you know, five, five, 10 minutes max that should take you, let's be honest. I really like how this photo turned out. I was, I was super lucky to be shooting it towards the end of the day, like more, more towards sunset. So it really made the, the colors in the sky pop. I was considering doing like a little sky replacement uh, at the top so you could see like the, the stars and the galaxy but I didn't really want to overkill it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out anyway. I actually did one of these a couple of months ago and now that I look back at it, it looks <laughs> it looks so shit like in comparison. Like the, the amount of progress that you can make in just a couple of months of doing photography is just insane. Oh, okay, it was the 30th of January when I did my first photo and what's, what's the date today? The 23rd of June, so that's, that's five months. Just goes to show if you're in the mindset to want something badly enough, then you will succeed. That is how you succeed. You, you, you've just really got to want it. But anyway, I hope you do take something away from this video. Uh, if you do decide to use this method and you've watched my video, I would absolutely love to see what any of you come up with. That would be absolutely insane. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, drop a comment down below, hit subscribe if you really, really want to. That's it from me today and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.